It is Friday, uh... <laughs> that was just... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two. TGIF, it is Friday, January 6th at 1.52 in the afternoon and today I'm doing Thursday's workout because everything's getting pushed back a day and it's hill repeats. Except Josh is having me do some pretty crazy hill repeats. He's having me do two sets of five. So he's gonna have me run, hold on, let me try to figure this out. It's on my hand. Because that's what you do when you are a, uh, you know, professional. Okay, so I run up the hill for 10 to 20 seconds as fast as I can. And then at the top, I do 10 push-ups, and then I run back down the hill, and then I run up again, then I do 20 sit-ups, and I run back down, then I run back up, and he wants me to do 10 leg lifts, and then I run back down, and I run up and do a 60 second plank, and then I run down and run back up and do a 30 second reverse plank on each side. Then he wants me to have a two minute break, and then do the whole thing again. And this is of course with the 10 minute uh, warm up drills, and then 10 minutes after. But, wow! Wow, this is quite the workout. Also like very strange. Let's go. All right, step one is to figure out how far down the hill 10 seconds is. We are back. That's nine. we go oh my god all right I wrote about this today on my blog run selfie repeat I'll link to it below but I was really thinking about quitting this blogging vlogging 
being a social media circus clown last year. I love doing this. I love sharing my story, creating funny content, making running relatable, being the leader of the sports bra squad. I love all of that. I go to bed every single night knowing that I did something with my day and that I'm helping people and motivating people and getting people inspired and like helping them laugh through their pain. That brings me endless amounts of joy because at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. So in September, you may remember when I came out to California to get away, to take a break, to unplug. I was so stressed out. You can probably remember seeing it in the blog. I was like full blown. I had like three panic attacks. It was really bad. I was ready to run Chicago and then run New York and then announced that I was going to step away and take a break. I convinced myself not to delete everything, but just to like take a couple months off, not do London, and to just try something different. Then about at the very end of September, right when I got back to New York, I got an email from Wazell. And I shot him an email back. The more I talked to Wazell and the women there, and the more I like investigated them and looked into it and read about them, the more I wanted to be a part of it. Because what they've built is a community of women who push each other to step up, get ugly, and just try to be their best self, to set crazy goals, to be there for each other, to meet one another. They've just built this incredible network of women. And they reached out to me and said that we, they wanna sign me. But I think it's important to love what you do and to feel like what you're doing matters. Partnering up with Wazelle, like, and having people, a brand stand behind me and say, we're with you, we support you, we hear you, we want to be with you, like, that was reassuring. And it means a lot because, like, I'm not a great runner. I'm, I'm a very average runner who just wants to, to prove herself wrong and just, like, run down my doubts. And to encourage women to work on feeling great in their own skin. We really are in the driver's seat of our lives and life really is short. It doesn't feel like it. You, it, you feel like sometimes you just feel so helpless and like what you're doing doesn't matter. But doing whatever you can do today does make a difference tomorrow. I think it's the most important thing in the world to ask yourself every single day. This is what I do every day. I wake up and I write down more than anything else in the world I want, more than anything else in the world right now I want, am I happy, and then I go from there. It's just an easy way to check in with yourself before you have the chance to talk yourself off any ledges. It's not easy to do really hard stuff. What I'm doing right now, like every single day could be, this could be the end of Run Self Repeat, I don't know, who knows. All I know is I love doing this and the goal right now is to just get through April with you guys together. <laughs> so thanks for coming with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for believing in this. Thank you for emailing me. Every time I get one of your emails, like I can't tell you how many times last year I would get an email from someone and it would just remind me like one more day. You're doing, you're making a difference one more day. And that's really what matters. If I can help one person who's going through something super shitty, if I can help them smile or believe in themselves or say yes to something really scary that they don't think they're capable of, then that's a win. It's hard. But you're not alone. Head up. Wings out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.